Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is a lot of all. So we're going to do a quick run through on a sentinel attack in space. So I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone. Let's get myself some a mirror here. I'm going to use my latest multi-tool. I'm going to take him out. Using my latest ship. So, as you can see, I've got things going on in this one. Just to give you a rough idea, I've got a max stop. So, we're about to have some fun. away from all these cargo ships, but it's not letting me. Let's see how this goes. See how we do all by my slots. So we're at level four already. Let's see how this goes. Next. Let's see, we're at level five. This should bring in the freighter. This should bring in the battleship, I should say. Here it comes. Hey, buddy. really cool. So Dreadnought AI Fragment. Single someone in a console may the heart of a central capsule. Links. 
range on one of its fleet of interceptors. Select the IF fragment and use Search Archive to translate the information about an interceptor's crash site to your starship's navigation systems. Okay. Now what I was told, or what I heard in a video by Jason, is that we need to do this closer to the space station. We're pretty far out, so I'm going to... You know what? Wait a second. We don't have to go there, because... And this is the planet I'm finding this wonderful, cool ship on. We're really close to our own freighter. Yeah, I'm not going to go too close. Alright, let's go ahead and select it. Okay, let's see where this leads us. This is really interesting. This leads us to a crash ship. Ah, very interesting. And there she is. Okay, well, now you see there's another way to find crash ships here. And it's going to be the same one as the one I've got. Which, like I said, these are really cool looking ships. I wonder what class it is. Let's find out, shall we? It's an A-class. That much we know. Let's see what we got. Not bad, and it's got three... Three of these are right pretty close next to each other. It'd be great if there was like one right here. That would be really, really nice. But we won't know until we upgrade it to an S-class. And I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because the one I've got right here has got... All of mine pretty close, but it's got three of them right here. So I'm really just rocking it. Not to mention I've got one more supercharged slot over here. And this thing is getting... Look at this maneuverability and hyperdrive. Come on. This is a freaking awesome ship, man. So I am not swapping it. I'm not taking it. I'll leave it behind. But if you all want to know where it is... There's your coordinates at the top right. Plus 14.24. Plus 15.75. And there's your coordinates for the planet at the bottom left. In the Isentim galaxy. Okay, this is not the starter galaxy. This is Isentim. Elon Paul of Isentim. Get that, get that through your heads, okay? <laughs> so now you know where it's located at. So, really cool ship. And just in case you're wondering about the maneuverability of these things, let's go ahead and give you a quick demonstration. Here we go. See how fast this thing is? I'm literally flying sideways. <laughs> yes, I'm crashing into things because I'm literally flying sideways, as you saw. The turning radius on this is incredible, to the point where you're literally, at some points, sliding. You're drifting in a ship. This ship is literally incredible. I am really loving this update, and I want to say, out loud, thank you, Hello Games. This has been an awesome, awesome update. We really, really appreciate it. So, thank you very much for watching, folks. Like and subscribe. See you again on the other chat on the other side.